So it's about 6.20, close to 6.30. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym, do legs. Tomorrow, depending on how I feel, after I drop off the kids, if I feel like going to the gym, I'll go, but otherwise, I'm pretty good until Tuesday. So I'm gonna go hip leg and abs. What else? Whatever I feel like doing, I'll do because I don't have to rush to come back at home because my husband is home with the kids. Yeah, so yesterday after I came from the gym, I, I went to my brother-in-law's house. We came back like 8 o'clock. We stayed a bit too long than expected. They surprised me and Prito and my son for, for birthday cake and uh, they did a small little celebration for him because during my son's birthday we went to Great Wolf so we didn't do any big party or anything like that so they did that for him he was surprised I was surprised too so but anyway yeah we came a bit too late and um, things that I wanted to do um, in the house I didn't get a chance to do it so when I came back just took a shower brush my teeth and go to bed so Anyway, I'm going to get myself ready. The gym open at 7. Go do mostly legs and abs. And if I feel like doing anything in between, I'll be more, you know, I'll, I'll do it because I have the time. It's about 8.30. I finished everything that I wanted to do. I record, I think, all of my leg routine with the exception of the band exercise. So, yeah, I did four sets, two of the leg press, and I superset it with the, uh, what's that machine? Squat machine. With the leg press, two sets, close stance, two sets, kind of uh, shoulder width length, and then uh, I superset it with the uh, squat machine. So what I'm going to try to do when I, I see it's only 8.30, I haven't been going to church in a while, so I'm going to catch the last... 20 minutes I guess so yeah I'm heading to church now but anyway I did everything that I wanted to do I even did abs with the cable I didn't record those I didn't record the band exercise actually after the leg exercises oh damn it's kind of cold anyway after the all the leg exercises I didn't record anything after that except when I went in the room I did some lunges some body weight stuff and I recorded so I'm heading to church now. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm not going to church. It's already late. Not only I'm not properly dressed, but uh, there's no reason for me to do that. So I'm heading home. I didn't go to church. Walk a little bit later. I'll be doing work with you. Not now. Later. Because you're going to be tested. Remember we spoke about that in the car? Okay, just a quick review, so you could uh, be a bit more relaxed, at least have an idea what you have to do in the test. I think I have some... I need to relax even more. Yeah, but you can't relax all day. Now it's school time. You're in second grade, right? I have this. I bought a while... Oh, I'm out of breath. A while back. We'll review some stuff in it, okay? So I don't know what they're going to test you on, but we'll review some of these. Especially math, because a lot of addition and subtraction you should be able to know. All right? Uh, I'm going to take a shower. Listen, I need you. For now, I want you to do this one by yourself. Read oh, this. this. For now, okay? Read this and answer those Question five, six, seven, eight. Read this and answer it. And then I'm gonna, uh, after I take a shower, I'm gonna sit down, read it with you, okay? And see how you're doing. Because they're gonna test you this week, okay? I didn't do it. I don't know. I have, more, I have to do a little bit of math with you too, okay? Go. Go start doing it. Maybe take a pencil. You could write on this because it's our, our book. You just put a little bit of check. Next to the answer that you think is correct. All right. So if it's wrong, I could erase it. All right. Go. Use pencil. So what happened here is that the last week was the first week of school. This week, this coming week, tomorrow, Monday, I believe it's Monday or Tuesday, they're going to test him. 
it's nothing major it's not about grading they just want to see where he's at so i want to do a little bit review with him because unlike my oldest my youngest is a bit when he doesn't know something he either blank or don't try at all that's my fear with him when it comes to testing he knows the stuff but sometimes he doesn't know how to trigger a certain part of his brain to look for the answer uh things like that unlike my oldest my oldest will you know work try to figure things out and if he doesn't get it he get upset and stuff like that so my youngest is a little bit he doesn't really care but when he's into something he will do he will teach you things you know he will search online do different things and look for answers and stuff like that but when he's not interested about something nothing will get him through it but i'm uh, today sunday i'm gonna work with him a little i'm not gonna work too much with him that thing i just show you uh, for him to do i'm gonna i have him do it by himself and then i'm gonna do it with him and then give him a little bit of math so i'm gonna take a shower thank you think there's a uh, all right come put yourself this way because i don't want you to be uh, i don't want to be doing this all day okay i might give you a little bit of math see where you at even though you have that summer uh, package read Sometimes Sam likes being the oldest. He can stay up an hour later. One hour, not an one hour later. later. Mm -hmm. He can go places by himself. Sometimes Sam thinks... Okay, make sure you, you stop where the period is, okay? He even gets to stay at his friend's house to eat dinner sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's this paragraph about? Um, about Sam. Okay, what about Sam? Thinking sometimes he likes being the oldest and sometimes not, doesn't like being the oldest. Very good. Very good. Okay, so that's pretty much what the uh, this is about. Okay, let's answer the qu question. Okay, right. five. What can Sam do better than his brother? Okay, Why how can many answers are there? You have to pick one. Okay, you. This, this is the direction. Read the story below. It tells about Sam being the oldest child and his family. Then answer the question. These are the questions. Question number five. What can Sam's do better than his brother? So go in here and find out what he can do f uh, better than his brother. When you find out, let me know. Okay. What, what, what did you say? Ride a bike. Okay, where is it in the, cent in the, in the paragraph? Ride mm -hmm. a bike. Okay. Ride Sam thinks it's great that he can read, ride bike, and spell better than his brother. Okay? Yes. That's what he, it says. Bubble it in or put yeah. a check? You could put, put a check. Yeah. Okay. What does go. Sam think about Let's having to hmm. act more like a grown-up? Okay. What does Sam think about having to act more like a grown-up? All right, look for the answer. You cannot find it, but read the, the uh, this, each I sentence. Okay. All right, pen. so you need to go back to I'm the... I'm looking. All right, where do you see where it says... All right, let's look for a clue here. What does Sam think about having to act more like growing up? See in the uh, thing where it says growing up, and then you read that. Where do you see growing up in the passage? Show it to me once you see it. The oldest? No, the word grown up. The exact word, grown up. Look for it in the paragraph. Show it to me once you see it. You don't need to read everything. Just scan through it. Scan means you go, you go really quick and see where you see the word grown up. And then point it to me. Hmm? Okay. Now, this is the word grown up. Now, read the sentence. Read he also has to act more like a grown up. Okay, let's continue reading and see what he's what they say so, um, in the paragraph. Sam always has more jobs to do around the house. He has to help wash the dishes and take 
out the trash. See, that's what we're growing up do, right? Mm -hmm. Keep reading. His brother and sister get help when they have to clean their rooms. Does he like to help them clean their room? No. Okay. Why does uh, Sam has to help his brothers and sister? Because he thinks he's the oldest. Not he thinks. He is the oldest. All right. Keep going. Be careful with the pencil. Sam doesn't, doesn't get help. Okay. Why, uh, when they say Sam doesn't get help, what does that mean? Get help doing what? Mm. You see the sentence before? His brother and sister get help when they have to clean their room. Sam doesn't get help. What are they saying here? He doesn't get help doing what? Washing the dishes. No, read the sentence before. He, who's he in the sentence here? Who is Sam? he? Sam, that's right. He has to help wash the dishes and take, where is it? And take, take out, out the, the trash. trash. His brother and sister get help. Get help when they have to clean their room. Okay? So his brothers and sister get help when they have to clean their room, right? Mm -hmm. Sam doesn't get help. Get help to do what? What do you think they're talking about? Who has help doing something? Me. I'm, talk I'm talking about, uh, about the stuff. and sister. Uh, they get help doing what? Cleaning the room. Okay, does Sam get help? No. Get help to do what? What do you think they're talking about? Cleaning his room. That's right. When it's time for Sam to clean his room, he doesn't get help. Right? But he is the oldest. He has to help the other uh, brother and sister because they're younger, right? Now, read. Sam doesn't like to be the oldest, but his brother and sister wants him to play with them all the time. Okay, now, from this paragraph, what are they talking about? Does Sam likes it? No. Okay, so let's look here. Uh, what does Sam think about having to act more like a grown-up? Okay, this paragraph is talking about being a grown-up. Does he like it? No. He thinks his brother should act more grown-up. Did they mention anything about his brother should act more uh, uh, grown-up? No. Okay. It is one reason why he doesn't like to be the oldest. Does that make sense? Does he like to be grown up? He, Does Sam like not, to be a grown up? Sometimes no. Okay, not sometimes, okay? When his brother and sister want him to play with them all the time. Okay, where is it? Uh, Sam doesn't like to be the oldest, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? So they're talking here about growing up. It is one reason why he doesn't like to be the oldest. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, let's read the next one. So that's maybe. We might come back to this. Let's see what they say here. He wants his parents to treat his brother like they treat him. Did the paragraph talk about uh, the parents? So which one is the answer? A. That's right. Put a mark. You see how I did this? Put a mark next to it. Okay, that's how I want you to, when you're reading, don't put your own conclusion, okay? You need to pay attention to what you're reading. Mm -hmm. If they say something about something, you go back to it. You know, if you don't understand, you go back. All right, read this. The seven. Who is the main character in the story? Who is the main character? Sam. Okay. Because he, he is the one who's talking about the most. Okay. All right. Read that. Why did the author write this story? Mm -hmm. Okay, read that. To give you information. Is that information? No. Okay, read the next one. To get you to believe something. Okay, does that get you to believe something? No. Okay, read the next one. To entertain you. Does that entertain you? Is that story to entertain you? I forgot what that means. Ah, is this I've heard it before, but I've forgotten. It. Okay, uh, I think I threw. Uh, shoot, I think I threw those things away. Okay, to explain how to do something, this this explain to you how to do something. Mm, yeah. 
To do what? What do you explain you to do? To try your best to do what you need to do. Where did you get that? Give me an example here where it's telling you to do something. Huh? Then no. Show me. You say something. I just want to see. Don't just guess. See, this is what I'm afraid with you when you're taking tests. You're guessing. Is this, even if you don't remember what some of the thing here, uh, is this information? No. Is this giving you information? No. It's giving you information about what? What Sam's, uh, Sam the oldest, right? Mm -hmm. Be to get you to believe something. Is it uh, something to believe? Is it persuading you? No. Entertain, is it something to, uh, like a story or a fiction, uh, what is it, a fiction to sort of for you to read about, right? Mm -hmm. So pretty much it's to entertain you. It's not giving you information uh, to explain something to you. All right, so go ahead. H? Yes. Let, let's do this last one. It's very small, and then I'll give you a little bit of math. Again, you read the paragraph, and then you have to answer the questions. Okay, mm -hmm. read. How to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm -hmm. Finally, eat your sandwich and enjoy. Okay. All right. So, read the, read the first question. What is the paragraph explaining? Mm-hmm. Let's read the... How to make peanut butter? Is no. It, okay. How to cut a sandwich? No. How to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich? Yeah. Okay. What about D? Let's read D just to see. How to put bread together. So which one is the answer? C. Okay. Okay. Next. What does the paragraph say to do after you spread the peanut butter? On the piece of bread. Okay. So, what does the paragraph say to do after you spread the peanut butter on one piece of bread? Let's look for it. Let's look for what are we what we should look for in this paragraph. When they spread the peanut butter on this on the okay. bread. Okay. Okay. So it says where uh, where is it actually? Read it. Mm -hmm. First, spread peanut butter on a piece of bread. Okay, so what did they tell you to do next? After to you spread do spread jelly on the other piece. Okay, so where do you see that here? G. Read it. Spread jelly on the other piece of bread. Okay. Alright, so it's very simple. You just go back to the text and look for it. Okay? Three, what is the last step? In the paragraph. Okay. Can you show it to me? The last step on the uh, paragraph. Next, cut the sandwich in half. Finally, I I listen. I only want you to read the part, the last step. That's all. The last step. Next, cut the sandwich in half. How could this be the uh, the 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 last Finally, step? Finally, eat your sandwich and enjoy. Which is the last uh, step? Read it. Finally, eat your sandwich and enjoy. Okay, where do you see that? In the sent in the answer part. Which letter is the answer? <laughs> Not say that, but yeah, go ahead. Which one says uh, what it says on the paragraph? Read it. Eat and enjoy your sandwich. Yes. Okay. Next. Four. Why did the author write this story? Why did it write it? To explain how to do something. Exactly. That's it. Yes. So you understand the between those two? Okay, this one is telling you exactly what to do, right? It's explaining to do something. This is somewhat to entertain you. That's all. It's telling you about uh, Sam being the oldest. All right? Uh, we, I need to get one of those um, blank, uh, black and white notebook. I'm going to give you a bit of math. And okay. then you have to work with me. Yes, we could do it together. Yes. Here. By yourself, let's see. 426 plus 58.
Uh, do this for me and show it to me once yes. you're done. Okay, the, the sign says what? Plus. And when, you, when it's plus, what do you do? Um, add. Okay. Uh, add meaning. Six. Okay, so do that. What's 8 plus 6? 14. 4. Mm hmm. 1. Good. 1 and 2 make 3. Uh, let me. Sh okay, you buy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Three. Eight, and then three okay. and five make eight. Okay, and then four and zero make four. Okay, good. Four hundred. Because you need to know your doubles. Two plus two is what? Four. Okay. Now, if I say and four plus four is eight. It's just shut. If I Go. say two plus three, okay, that's very easy. How do you get the, the doubles together? How do you get doubles from this? If you were to do, you know there's two plus one is give you three, right? Mm -hmm. So if you do two plus two is what? Two plus two is four. And then you get the one here, right? And we, so know, we know three plus three is six. Yeah. So if I said three plus four, what, how will you do it very quickly? Inside of four, mm -hmm. there is two and two. N yeah. I mean, we want something close to three, this one. Three, two, and one. That's it. Three, and then you already three, know. Three, two, and one. N and then Not three, two, and one. Three and one only. Three and one. Okay. This is three plus one. Mm -hmm. Right? Not two, three, and one. It's three and one. So you got the double. We know the double is what? The double is... Right here, from the, here. 3 plus 3? 6. And then plus that one is? 7. Okay, go ahead. So the answer is 7. Yes. All right, let's do one more. Well, we're going to do a couple more because we really... If I say 3 plus... Sorry. Uh, 3 plus... 5. Okay, 3 plus 5. Tell me, do I want you to do something like this for me. All right. Where is the three in there? The three in this five is, is three and two. Okay. Three and two. And then... Why don't you write it very small on top? Three and two. Three and two, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you add together here? To get so it... So, three and another three is six. Uh-huh. Then six and two make... Eight. Okay. All right. Can I do it? Mm-hmm. So if I say, uh, let's do four plus four. Go ahead. Eight. Go ahead, write it. Okay, eight. Now if I say, uh, four plus, uh. Please don't be five. Okay, let's do five. I know it's easy, but we're gonna go. Uh, we're doing something very small and then go. Five is three and two. Mm -mm. We want the same number that's here, the four here. So, so what is four. there a four and 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 three? Is there a four and three? No. What what four plus something give you five? Okay, I'll do that for you. It's four. Plus one give you five. Because mm -hmm. we're trying to get doubles to make it quick. So four plus four. Eight. And then eight plus one. Nine. Okay. So that will make it. You have to know this. Okay. The number that they gave you to add it with. You try to get that out of that big number. All right. Plus something else to make it that number. So it's four and one that gave you. Five. Do you understand? Then the double will be four plus four plus one. Mm -hmm. You already know the four plus four is what? Eight. And then eight plus one? Nine. So if I say, for instance, four plus six, what's the double? In, uh, four plus six. Six has a five and a one. Yes, but we want the four. We want a four in there. So what's... Four plus something give you six. What's missing here that will give you six? Two. 
two, right? Four and two. Okay. And then four plus four is eight, and then two. Okay, and so ten. That's it. Ten. So if I say four plus seven, what's the four in there? Four plus something give you seven. What is it? Hmm. The four in seven is three. Okay. So these you have to be able to do it quick. All right. Four, what's four plus four? Eight. And eight plus three? Eight plus three equals 11. Okay. All right. So you have to know the doubles. If I say six plus six is what? Six plus six. I don't know what that is. Six plus, so do it to find out. Six plus six. six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so twelve. Hello. So six plus six is twelve, right? Mm -hmm. If I say six plus seven, what makes, is there a six in, in that seven? Yeah. So what is it? Six plus what give you seven? Six and one. Okay, six and one. So what's the double here? 6 plus 6 is 12, and then 13. Plus 1 is 13. So what I, don't, I think you have some math thing. This thing I was supposed to make you do it over the summer. Uh -huh. But since you were, you had your school package and, you know, I didn't want to bombard you too much. What I want you to do is all the doubles. 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2. 3 plus 3, 4 plus 4, 5 plus 5, okay, 6 plus 6, 7 plus 7, okay, the doubles, I want you to be able to know, okay, so you already know, uh, what's 5 plus 5? 5 plus 5 is 10, okay, 6 plus 6? 6? 6 plus 6 is, 6 okay. plus 6 Okay, that's where 12. you stuck, yes, that's where you stuck, so from 6 up to 10, I want you to know the doubles. Six, six plus six, six, seven plus seven, eight plus eight, eight and ten plus ten. Okay, the ten you know, so go do that, and then you could sit over there and try to do them. Okay, go.